Hi, my name's Amy and I make things. So today, stash, scrap, serendipity. What's that mean? That means I like to use what I have. So I like to shop a little differently than most people. I like to buy fabric from second stream sources or scraps or collect leftovers and random bits and pieces. So let me show you some of the things that I've gotten recently. It's sort of good old fashioned haul style. I love to work with denim. It's fun, it's great texture, it's fantastic for quilts and quilted projects, it's durable, it's really cheap and easy to come by. The way I shop for denim normally is at whatever thrift store I'm at, I find the largest pair of jeans I can find that are in good condition and, and also on the color of the week clearance for half price so I don't ever pay a lot for it. And so you end up with lots of jeans, denim, super easy, super easy to come by, stack it up, super heavy. As you can see, I've already gotten into these. I had an idea for a project. And every now and again, you come across a pair of jeans that you, you're like, forget it, I'm paying full price. <laughs> full price being all of $8.99. I bought these. These are Pottery Barn 100% cotton twin sheets that I will use for backings of quilts and I'm sure in fronts of quilts and patchwork as well. But those for the whole set of twin sheets for $8.99. Can't buy yardage for that. So it was good and it's fun. I have a, a, an affinity for polka dots of all kinds, especially red, but you know, pink will do. Of course, everyone knows about men's shirts and buying men's shirts at the thrift store. So I've got a stack of those. I've got this black and gray. Let's see if I can get a close up. Will that focus? There we go. Black and gray men's shirt. There again, look for the ones that are on sale. Look for the ones that are le less expensive. Or don't whatever your budget allows sometimes I don't because it's just too good to pass up I do tend to look to shop in the from the largest size down I'll buy cotton I will buy cotton poly blends I'm not particular about it if the print is good I love it and I'll use it some people are purists about that thing and if you are great be purist about that thing I'm just not and I will cut these up and I'll cut the sim seams and whatnot out of them a la Bonnie Hunter. I look for cotton. I love to find linen this way. Linen is very expensive, but you can find wide swath swaths of it in men's shirts and women's dresses and skirts. And it doesn't matter if it has a stain or a tear or a seam problem because you'll just cut around it. So I've gotten this green one also tried it was almost pirated by the kiddo. And this blue and green. Look at this paisley inside. And I think this is a uh, poly blend on this paisley collar. But I got enough 80s kid in me that I don't care. I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> With these fabrics, my quilt's never going to look like anyone else's. Because I work with scraps mostly anyway, my quilt's never going to look like anyone else's. And I love that. That's my favorite thing, is I want my work to look like my work. So this, this green paisley, is a pillow sham from Pottery Barn or Anthropology. One of those, you know, fancy places I got for $1.99. That's, you know, a yard of fabric for $1.99. But there again, mostly it's a print that I'm never going to see in a quilt shop. And that's what I like. I've got this stripe, blue and yellow stripe. Stripes make beautiful bindings. A lot of blue. There's a lot of blue in the men's shirt department. So you have to, uh, if you aren't a fan of blue 
or aren't a big user of blue, be careful that you don't overwhelm yourself with the collection of blues. Though I will say I did pick up this one because it's a crosswoven plaid. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it is almost electric. That's sort of how I uh, expand my stash, is with second stream fabrics and things like that. So scraps. One can buy scraps. I know, that seems weird. The beauty of buying scraps is that you'll have scraps from fabrics that you have never encountered. Fabrics that are outside of your collection. And it's fun to use something that was going to go in the garbage and make something interesting out of it. I'm a member of Cotton Cuts, and I'll link below their scrap club. I haven't opened this one, so let's open it. Let's see what we got. Okay, so neutrals. See, I don't like to buy neutrals. It's not fun. I like to buy colors and batiks and bright stuff. Neutrals serve a purpose and they work really great. And I've been using these bits and pieces. I've been working on a project right now that's string quilted backgrounds with applique um, hearts on top. And I've used these pieces, which are perfect, and used lots of these. And it has really expanded my variety of neutrals in that project. So there's these little, little tiny florals, reminds me of Liberty fabric and I don't know the designers on these I'm sure I could find this is art gallery I can tell by the salvage you know I don't know I don't need to know I don't need to know the designers ooh I like this one with the black and white or navy and white it's hard to say focus there we go and then I'll take these and I'll sort them into my buckets which I'll I'll show here Sort them into my bucket. Sort them by color. I sort everything by color because that's how I work. That's how I think. And that's where I start. Oh, this is tulip pink, I think. Anyway, but you know, so yes, it is. Salvage. Um, but the designer doesn't matter to me. I mean, I like collections. I like, you know, people's work. I love to see people's artwork. But I'm going to mix it all up anyway. So... These are super fun and a great way to build a scrap stash. Another thing I do, fat quarter shop, you can get a scrap bag or, you know, maybe two. <laughs> so I've gotten these. I haven't opened these yet either. So let's see what we've got. Okay, solids. White. I don't buy white. I don't buy, but, you know, when you get it in chunks like this and this tan, that's pretty. You don't need to. More neutrals. Look, at, this is a this is nearly a half a yard of fabric. This one with the cherries. More white fabric. Okay. Ooh, and this pretty. This looks like. Yep. I was gonna say this looks like laundry basket. I do love Edita Sitar. She's one of my favorites. I like her color palette. I like her design theory. But there again, I like, I mix it all up. And so this is blue, blue. Everybody loves blue. I've got quite the pile over here. So here I am stashing more scraps because, you know, I need that. Where's the end of my little, how do I? From time to time. They'll also from time to time have what they call grab bags where you can get a bundle of, you know, fat quarters or straight cut quarter yards that are all unrelated, but it's a kind of a fun way to, you know, build a stash, if you, especially if you work by color, if you don't care about designs and patterns, if you work by color. Hold, please. Especially if you work by color, because then it doesn't matter if they all go together because you're going to 
pull it apart and sort it by color anyway. So, ooh, purple. The peri this periwinkle purple is really popular right now. And look, these are nearly half yard cuts. So let's see. I have a more than a quarter yard. Oh, I like that one. That's Anna Maria. She's my favorite. I tend to not buy collections by designer. I tend to fall down every now and again into an Anna Maria Horner um, fat quarter or half yard bundle. Oh, that's pretty. Look at those cute little bees. Are there bees on that side? Yep. And batiks. Okay, facet dots, polka dots, my very favorite, and red, red, check, red is the best color. I don't know what you've heard, but red is the best color. And the good blenders, little turquoise blender. This is, looks like a gray, it's not picking up on camera, but it's like a hand dye or a batik, a batik solid. Some white on white hound's tooth. This little vine scatter print. And some not quite black. Feels like Kona. Nice. Always useful. We've covered stash and how I enhance my stash. We've covered scraps and how I build a scrap bundle or how one can build a scrap stash if you're a new quilter or if you're new to scrap quilting. Serendipity, what does that mean? Serendipity, that's fabric that you get because somebody says, hey, I've got this and I'm not going to use it. Or uh, you happen to be at the Modern Guild meeting and win the door prize, which is what this ha I got this last week and it's all reds and forms of red, versions of red and I will promptly break it up and put the whites with the lights and the reds with the reds and the pinks with the pinks because that's how I roll. Serendipity also includes the free table at my local guild. So this month or last month I picked up several patterns several patterns and such things like that partial projects or little kits are some of my favorite things to pick up. This one has bats. Let's see. If you know anything about Austin, it's bats are a thing. I love Hawaiian fabric. I fell in love with Hawaii several years ago and now I think everything in my life should smell like pineapple. There again, partial projects. Someone else started it. They aren't going to finish it in that, in that way, but you know, just because these blocks are made in this way doesn't mean they have to be finished in the original design, you know, in the original intended design. They can be the start of a new block. They can be the start of a new idea. They can be cut up into one and a half inch or two inch squares, whatever you prefer to work with. So, you know, don't, don't limit yourself to, oh, well, I don't want to make that quilt with diamonds and matched angles and such like that. Because it doesn't have to be. Fabric is fabric. You can just cut it again. Got this red. This is denim. This is a lightweight red denim. Again, love denim. I've got a lot of this pearl bracelet. That was a big thing several years ago. I remember people could not get enough of it. This green and blue reminds me of my childhood. Black and white. I love black and white. Anything black and white goes with everything. Black and white is an area where I don't have a lot of stash. And so it's something that, real, that I'm really keeping my eye open for right now. This is a batik. It's a neutral. Oh, it's showing. There. Neutral batik. This is, I think is navy and white shirting. Look, another bag of little scraps and garbage. It's my favorite. I love, oh look, it's got pins in it. 
I like to go through these things and I wonder, oh, what were they making? Why is that pinned? What was it saved for? So, but I'll sort these into my scrap bins by color and then use them in future projects. Look at this pretty Christmas and blue little sheepies and anything that I don't use. I'll just send back to the free table. Anything that I know that if I go through a ba big bag of something and I know I'm not going to use it, I'll just send it back to the free table for someone else to pick. And someone else always picks it. More green. And, oh, that's ultra suede. I think my daughter might have picked that up for costume. Pink gingham. Gingham's one of my favorites. And that may be a poly blend gingham. I don't care. So that's what I've got. So until next time, remember, you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you around.